Snoopy. Warning. The treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Syrup Page Homebrew, <laughs> your best source for the newest Atari games and the treat balls. The, the treat ball is loose. Crypto coffee. <laughs> What timing, oh yeah. my goodness. Uh, Crypto wanted to get it in right away. We'll give the treat ball <laughs> to the cats when I read out the names. How about yes. that? Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Tonight, we're gonna be playing four Atari Lynx <laughs> games. It is a jam-packed night full of wonderfulness, including an exclusive update to Starblader. Wrong mic. Like, is there something wrong? Does this sound like crap? Oh dear, webcam. Oh, somebody, uh, somebody jinxed it because they're like, "Are you gonna have problems tonight?" Uh, da, 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 da. One second, let's fix that mic. Let's give it to the proper mic. How about this mic? Does this mic sound better? Sid, it's Sid's fault. He <laughs> He yes. was pressing buttons. Yeah, he does like to run across keyboards, so... Yeah. Woo! Okay, that I'll take as a sign as okay. better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to blame Crypto Coffee yeah. for unleashing <laughs> the treat ball. It's better. Uh, uh, we're going to be playing Starblader, an exclusive Ooh. update from Gisberto Rondinella and mm -hmm. the team at Retro Guru. Uh, Not 90. Uh, we're also going to be playing Gotcha Gun from Not 90. Nice. Nice, and nice. Fruity Y or Fruity E from Nop 90. Three Yay. games from Nop 90 tonight. Nice. Plus, we're going to be playing Paratroopers as well from J U M Jum. Uh, there's Gisberto Rondinell in Ooh. the chat. Welcome. So you can redirect all your questions that I can't answer to them. <laughs> um, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. But first, before that, we're going to give the cats a treat ball. Yay, if you want to get balls. out the uh, combat arena. The combat arena is coming out. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Push that. It's not very stable. Well, it isn't when you push it. It no, only has three legs. It falls over a lot, I've noticed. Yeah, don't push it. Don't touch it. it, it it's not stable right now. That's okay. That's why. The um, leg has to be pointing in the direction that the microphone is. There you go. Okay. If you want to load up okay. the treat balls. Good. I will do so. And I will get the other treat ball for the other cat. Oh, this I cat. I don't think they deserve it. <laughs> they don't They're usually. They're very, very naughty. <laughs> yeah, the microphone wants to play with the treat ball too. Yeah, so close it off. And so the treats don't go out, 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 out at the bottom. Let's see, how many treats do you deserve? I don't Ooh, know. I think Sid deserves one treat. <laughs> and Tatari deserves ten. Oh. No, they have to be even so we don't um, alter the outcome of any future Six. Six uh, and six. Games. How about that? Yes. That sounds very reasonable to me. And this Kay. one's for you. I'm going to open it just a bit. There you go. Enjoy. And hey, Steve. Over. It's true. We haven't seen you in quite a while. So hey, it's good Steve. to see you. It's good to see you in the chat. Hello, S. Ramirez. Yes. Okay. I do want to play a game. Shall we play a game? Actually, I don't know if you saw that. There, there we go. go. Shall we play a game? All right. The tree balls we have been released. Four. So, uh, thank you to the following Twitch subscribers who help support the show and the cats. Uh, Eldefer, Andrew, Atari, Arms, Guard, Coder, Atari, Night 74, Atari, HB, R, Pocock, Bruno, Stack, Captain, Closet, Charles, Donna, Mal, Charles, Will, and Chitlala, Conquer, Radio, Cunubanismo, DNO, Identity, DMC, Dr. Boo, Cows, Eric, Hart, Gamma, Dev, Gray, Defender, Ground, Trooper, Araldo, Ju, JG, Johnny, WC, Computer, Coder, Carl, G, Karakak, Croco, 2600, Developer, Lambda, Express, Mandy, Sympathy, Mark, Gans, Bar, Space, Sig, Mental, Atari, McMuse, Mike, Saul, Mike, Thomas, Command, MK, Smith, Mr. Funks, Mr. Funks, Mr. Fix, Muddy <laughs> Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgia, Cohog. How about I just combine two, every second name together? Yeah, just smoosh them like Brangelina. Like, <laughs> yes, just smush, that's right. Just smush them together. Uh, Cohog, our entrance, Render, Ghost, Repentless, Feed, Rabbit, Tuli, Rare, Cardo, Pim, Six, We, Spitty, B, Spice, Wear, Spinly, Estimator, Strawberry System, The D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Post Track, MD, Tweeny, Vex, Rice, Vigi, Team, Game Members, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken, X. And just before the show, S. Ramirez resubscribed for 62 months. They've been subscribing. Thank you so much, Steve. That's awesome. Ongoing support. 
Yes, the lovely Lynx 2 is ready for playing. And if you want to support the show as well, you can by hitting subscribe. Mm -hmm. Your name will show up beside Tanya right there. There they are. Sidtari, Atariad, yeah. Sidtari, Sidtari works. Sidtari, yes. Sidtari. These yeah. are our cats, Sidtari. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, or you can just follow us so you know when we're um, twitching. Yes. Uh, live streaming. Uh, live streaming. Um, we live stream on Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, or you can just uh, watch it later on YouTube. Uh, we post it the next day usually. MC? Empty. Wow, oh. they got through those fast. Quick work of that. Yeah, They're they hungry did. tonight. They are. Well, don't um, under there. So talking about Lynx and Good cats. talking about Starblader. Starblader uh, is been updated and that's why we're playing it tonight. Mm -hmm. But the big update for it, it is two player now. Multiplayer using the com links. Mm -hmm. Now to use the com links, you need two links. Dump that cat out. Um, and, he, and they uh, hook up through... I can put that over here. No, no, I'll put it here. They, can, they hook up through uh, headphone jacks. Oh, okay. A headphone jack on each end and just talks between the two like oh, that. Oh, so, neat. And it's very, very smart. They used a standard wire rather mm -hmm. than some proprietary thing. Yes. So you can just replace it, buy it anywhere. Um, but the question... The poll tonight is how many Atari Lynx do you have? <laughs> do one many have more than one? one? Two for two. <laughs> well, apparently they're making two-player games, so you two. have to have two two Lynxes to play well, two-player games. Well, if unless you get get your friend with a Lynx over, <gasps> that's an option. Yes. Uh, one for one, two for two plus three. I have access to two, which means mm. you may have one. Your friend may have one. Your friend may have two. You may have two <laughs> friends, but you have zero. Yes. Um, or four, zero, and a crying face. Oh, I sadness. have one and no, nobody with a lynx around here. <laughs> oh, very, there are a lot of zeros. A lot of zeros. I want one, though, if you're doing a giveaway. Uh, no, then I'd have zero. Uh, <laughs> then I wouldn't be able to play any more lynx. That would be very sad. Um, I wouldn't mind two. But it's so rare that I would play a two-player game. Mm. That'd be such a huge expense because uh, they're not super cheap, they're not super expensive, but not super cheap. That I would just so rarely use it. It'd be like paying hundreds of dollars to play it for an hour. Mm. Not even an hour. Would we play a game for an hour for two lynxes? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you'll get one for Christmas. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? At Atari Lynx for Christmas. I'm going to go to Atari Lynx for Christmas. Okay, I would there say we no. go. I would not say no. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good question. I do have an analog pocket. Now, I didn't even think about that. Does the analog pocket it doesn't, have a capability does it? for Com Links? Oh, Com Links. Oh. oh, it can play Lynx games. Yeah. That's not a problem. Yeah. And actually, uh, the Lynx. <laughs> emulator uh core was just released the other day for it mm -hmm. actually was updated the other day too uh if anybody knows about that it's way too late to do it now <laughs> uh, because it, it it would have to have probably a proprietary cable because it doesn't it has a headphone cable but i don't think it has any other um any other kind of cable Does it? what are you doing let me see it has his cats. So His cat's beans. Him Watch him. He's right behind like you. Like it has a... Watch hey, him. beans. Watch him. Nope. Nope. Bean cats. Full Can you beans. grab them? Oh, my hands are full. Oh, I got him. You got him? Okay. Well, he slipped through my hands anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, it has a headphone jack. Mm. It has a USB-C, mm -hmm. which maybe it can be hooked up and have an adapter from USB-C. Mm. And it's got a Game Boy uh, adapter as well. But... I doubt it. <laughs> I really, really doubt it. Mm -hmm. That seems not possible at the moment, but we'll see. Maybe somebody will come up with that. Uh, Samir says, my pocket is still in the box. I need to set it up. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very cool. Uh, Samir says, when my sons come over, we play Lynx. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, how was the experience on the pocket with g the adapter for Lynx games then? I've considered it. Um, I, I actually canceled the adapter for Lynx. 
because it can play that. links. Yeah. And I don't have any links. I have like maybe one links game like on actual, actual cartridge. Games. Yeah. So I'm like, why am I spending so much money on a links adapter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you have I no don't links have games. any physical <laughs> links, and yeah. I, I usually just play them mm -hmm. uh, through the em emulator. Through, well, not emulate, but on the actual links and the binaries, right? Gotcha. Okay. So yeah. yeah, and I can load the binaries into the analog pocket. Mm. Uh, anyway, yeah, a new links came out. Uh, core came out a couple days ago and updated as well. Mm. So let's get into the news. There is Stella support mm -hmm. for Elf now. Um, Elf is a um, kind of a package for Atari 2600 games that the uh, Plus Cart and the um, Uno Cart can read and play um, that encapsulates the game and other data. Okay. And now Stella supports it. You will have to build your own Stella, though. Uh, build your own Stella. Yes. That sounds daunting somehow. A little bit daunting. Building for... your own Stella? Yes. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the uh, Atari 2600. I am talking about the emulator Stella right there. It was posted on Saturday by Dirty Harry. Just a small note. Stella now supports Elf and runs Mattress Monkeys. Fine. Uh, oh, look at this kitty. He put his chin on my foot currently <laughs> so have to cute. build stella to use the latest code but the next release will include elf support mm. um so that's really really great because there's a number of games that are uh using elf i think only mattress monkey has been released but we've played a number of them on the show they're just not ready for prime time yet mm. or they want to do something else with them um so that is a awesome update is that like building, Liam, building a megan i <laughs> haven't seen that show uh, i do know what megan is though and yes, hopefully not <laughs> I know. um so as prge is 23 days away i think somebody posted in the chat oh just gosh just before the show started um the oh. pictures have come out of packages Ooh. of Atari Age games Fancy. that will be available at PRGE. And the first of them mm -hmm. was Tober's Nightmare. Just Ooh. in time for Halloween, this is coming out. Perfect timing. So there is the box. Old school packaging. Three video games. Like they're, They always deceived you. It's like 76 video games inside. They're yeah. all just slight variations yeah, of the combat. Same. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> slight variations of combat. <laughs> so, you now they're tanks. Now they're ta now they're yeah. different color tanks. Now like, your bullets bounce. You now they're planes. Fifty versions of Pong. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's yeah. They they carried over from the Pong consoles. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's like different tennis, speed, hockey, bigger paddles. <laughs> There's slightly goals. Faster There's bubbles. smaller goals. Yeah, yes. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, there are three variations of Tover's Nightmare. Yes, exceptional seasonal release timing. Mm -hmm. A very Halloweeny game. Um, it's a really great game. It is. It is amazing game. And it is an Atari Homebrew Awards winner. Uh, so they put the laurels on the back. Nice. And it's so rare that they get to put laurels on the back because usually the game is released in box mm. after they win the, uh, before they win the award because PRGE is in um, September. Oh, of course. And, and the awards are in yeah. February, but the cutoff's in December. So the usually there's a whole, especially for packaging, it's impossible to have a packaging award on the packaging mm -hmm. unless there's another release. But anyway, uh, by it's it's by Mick Crocker. Um, what's his online name? Uh, I always forget his online name. Anyway. Um, yeah, it will be available at PRGE. And a fantastic game. If you have not yet had the time to play it, Oof, you should pull yes. it out for your Halloween party. Yes. Just set it up in a corner on an old CRT and... Yep, watch people go, what's this? It is so <laughs> much fun. It is such a good classic style arcade kind of game. I, I think Pick it's Pick up wonderful. and play. Oh, yeah. there it is, McMeows. It is, McMuse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a, a great game. Also, Frazzled is coming out by Dave oh, that M. That one's really interesting. David Marley, yeah. Where <laughs> there's a disco ball. The cover's, the cover's per perfect. And I think it's done mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. um, Atari Boy. Um, yeah, you have to match your platforms with the top platforms. And there's enemies coming by. 
another amazing artwork box um, with neon colors. It looks absolutely awesome. So that'll be a PRG 2024. And Jumping at Shadows from Reboot from Cyrano J is going to be at PRG 2024 as well from Atari Age. These are all from Atari Age. Um, the box is perfect representation of the game. It's dark. It's beautiful. It is so well done. Everything about it is unbelievably slick. Um, another game coming out. Oh, two more games. Actually, a double shot from Vladimir Zuniga. One for the 7800. Slide Boy in Maze Land. That already came out for the 2600 mm -hmm. in box. And Night Guy in Another Castle as well. Nice. Um, VHSC Excellent. games are always so, so good. They so. never disappoint. Never. Yeah. So that is uh, the latest, and I'm sure we'll just keep updating and updating as mm -hmm. time gets close to PRG with more games. Uh, so what is next? I think that's all the news. Yep. So hopefully everyone can go to PRG. <laughs> I know it's difficult if you don't live nearby. We're mm -hmm. about a six hour drive, so we're very, very lucky. But if you haven't been planned to go, one of these years if not this year hmm. it is everything retro it is so so good with um tons of speakers lots of booths um lots of merch and stuff to lots buy. of merch lots of games to buy yep yep um there's all the things that you expect at a, a retro or a gaming convention um costume contests mm -hmm. free play huge arcade huge free free play arcade mm -hmm. pinballs um arcade games uh, console area set up as well for playing consoles so we go every year because mm -hmm. it's lots of fun and we meet up with uh all the people in the chat they're able to go too. yes woo. um so we're going to be getting into the games now are we going to continue our pizza night yes Hell yeah yes definitely continuing our pizza night yeah so i'll i'll actually post that in um the i'll i'll post the get together mm -hmm. uh that we do every year it might be sunday night this time saturday is usually pretty hectic for everyone um be, and we're also doing something saturday as well okay um I, that's up to you it also could be i don't know thursday or friday night i don't know if a lot of people are there for thursday that's though. the problem yeah and some people aren't there for friday either yeah. Oh, Wes Ramirez Sunday. leaves Sunday morning. See, that's the issue. Yeah. I mean, it could be Friday. It's just for dinner at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to figure it out. Yeah. Friday's not bad. Maybe we'll do Friday then. Yeah. Because yeah. that's probably better than Sunday because people leave on Sunday. I know. That's yeah. sort of the problem. Yeah. Saturday is just a little more difficult this year. Yeah. There's, um, there's other things happening. Yeah. Now. Okay. Well, maybe it'll be Friday. It might be Friday then. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into the games. The first one is an exclusive update. Thanks to our friends at Retro Guru and Nop90, Gisberto Rondinella, uh, who did the code. Uh, that's a smiling face. Yeah, so Friday's uh, better. Is like, yeah, uh, Friday, Friday. <laughs> uh, Gisberto Rondinella, who did the code. Simon Butler did the graphics. Uh, Michal Shablowski, who did a uh, micer, who did the music. Mm. Uh, this was first posted November 14th, 2020, a long time ago. And it is a um, kind of a port tribute to another game that I actually did play in the 80s called Barbarian on the C64. Mm. So let's just take a look at the original game. The C64 game. The C64 game. Um, nice. Ooh. Definite Conan vibes going on there. Oh, yeah, just the name Barbarian, yeah. right? Nice. And it's great music, too. Nice. <laughs> now let's get to the title screen. Get past the um, possible problems. Uh, what? No, I was going <laughs> to say the. Uh, Gratuitous nudity. Nudity. Gratuitous, there we go. Gratuitous nudity. I actually have <laughs> some notes about the gratuitous nudity. Oh, do you? Yes. Funny. Oh, I actually think this oh, wow. is the game. Yeah, this is the game. Did so he it, just decapitate someone? Yes. That is amazing. That's the fun part. That's so this amazing. Is, so this is has a fatality in it. Well before fatalities were, were common. Were right? common. Yes. Wow. Um. 
So this game, Barbarian, the Ultimate Warrior, that's Palace a full title. Self. 1987 video game developed by Palace Software. It's a fighting game. <laughs> Uh, gives players control over sword-wheeling barbarians. In the game's two-player mode, players pit the characters against each other. So, there's two-player mode. Um, and one-on-one -on -one fighter game. It also had a single-player mode, so you can battle against a computer. Um, to uh, rescue any uh, princess from an evil wizard. Of course. Why well, get creative? <laughs> it was ported to a lot of systems. Acorn and Electron, Amiga, Amstrad, CPC, Apple II, Atari ST, BBC Micro, Commodore 64, which I played it on, MS-DOS, Java, and ZX Spectrum. And Barbarian was banned in Germany. Really? Not completely banned. <laughs> they said banned in the wiki, wiki, but the ban forbade the promotion of the game. Oh. And its sale to customers under the age of 18. Okay. Well. Uh, but there was a censored version of the game which ch changed the color of the blood to green. Oh, it, because, was it the blood thing? Yeah, up? Oh, that's that. so funny. So, you know, people with green blood, that's fine. Yeah. Gratuitous nudity, no problem. <laughs> Um, but but blood that's red absolutely not. <laughs> but that's that picture that showed beforehand. Yeah. They use that for advertising in magazines, and some magazines prevent, like said, no, we're not going to yeah. use that. And <laughs> I'm they not put surprised. they put censorship bars nice. across it. Yeah. I love I love these stories. They're so yeah. funny. It is. Uh, the They're 80s. so funny. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's that awesome. that was barbarian. Yeah. Um, so the the moves in the new game are pretty much similar, but it's it's set in space yeah. instead. Um, so let's just take a look at the uh, Retro Guru page for this, for the people who are putting this out. Nice. Starblader Love is the page. Yeah, Love it. Really nice. Yeah. Moving background is yeah. inspired by the classic fighting game Barbarian One and has been initially released for the Atari Lynx at Revision 2021 Game Development Competition. So that's when it was first shown. Uh, during a diplomatic mission on uh, Zanesh 7 to avoid a new war against rebel robots, Princess Alinea, Alinea? Mm. Uh, uh, and her younger brother Elian were attacked by the robot's leader, General Luger, and Princess Alinea uh was kidnapped fight against your own clones to free her this has nothing to do with the star wars universe whatsoever <laughs> princess alenia has nothing to do with princess leia uh, leia yeah. yes funny, funny funny please mind the game is still in development mm. you can only play four fights yet we uh aim to finish the game for uh no no they did not the game will be presented uh by emmanuel uh, sherbrock uh, pushing the Atari Lynx to its limits, few worlds to see, and several clones to defeat. Nice. Lovely hand pixeled graphics mm -hmm. and superb chipper chip tunes. Nice. <laughs> chipper chip tunes. Chipper. Ha upbeat. Uh, there's all the credits for it. Mm. And uh, there we go. So, and there was, there's still available a demo that you can play of it. Mm. I'm not sure, just barely can uh, fill in the information about what this new version is destined for, whether it's going to go straight to. Uh, cartridge or another demo is going to be released. Um, sensor bars just make readers more yeah, yeah. interested in what they're missing. Exactly, yes. exactly. It entices people in. It doesn't. It it's has like, the exact oh. opposite effect yes. of what they're trying to do. Sometimes, if you cover it just right, mm -hmm. it's like is she actually nude under there? Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. like, well, no. Um, so let's load it up, and I think. And I also have a review of the game here oh. that I'll be reading out while you play. Okay. Um, let me just see. So it's a two-player game, but you can play against AI? Or? Yes, you can play against the computer. computer. Yeah. yeah. There's no AI. It's all AI. <laughs> it's funny how it's they... It's all called AI. At right? some point, they call it AI. They started calling it AI. Yeah. So. Before it was the computer. Yes. Now it's AI. It's AI. AI is so way fancier than just playing against a computer. Boot it up. over so if we go to today's date second button this button yeah there we go down star blader so uh just about to run in oh i'll let it play warning a plus 18 plus it's a retro 
Retro Guru logo. Nice. Yes. Uh, hi. Hello. Are you here to play? He's ready. A long time ago, the sword was a barbarian weapon. Uh, oh, what? And nerds dream of star anything? battles. Nope, I didn't. Oh not. my god, that's very short. Yeah. Starblader! Nice! During a diplomatic <laughs> mission on Xanash 7 to avoid a new war against rebel robots, Princess Alenia oh, yeah. and her younger brother Elian was attacked by the leader of the robots, General Luger, and Princess Alenia was kidnapped. Fight against your own clones to free her. Nice. Very nice scroll. Nothing to do with Star Wars. Juice Baracho. <laughs> nothing like having your credits in a in a page scroll. Oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Awesome. This cat, look at this cat. Just, he nestled his hand. Just jumped up. And nestled his face right oh, into my hand here. He's I'm actually so adorable. He's so sweet sometimes. And just oh, you're a sleepy? menace other times. Yeah, and then he's full of beans. Full of beans. Look at that. This is beautiful. Visit RetroGuru.com. Nice. 2024 by RetroGuru. Are you going to be okay there? Artificial stupidity on older games. Not artificial intelligence. Yeah. Well, sometimes it was pretty good. So, uh, let's go down to tunes. So, soundtrack tunes by Micr. So, you can pick the different tune. songs. So, let's... I'm guessing this is the song that plays while oh, you you're fighting and you get to pick one. Or this is all the songs and you'll hear them throughout the game. One of them. Okay, next one. Yep. That crawl is really readable despite the low resolution. Yes. Place. I like this one. That's a good one. Strange Garden. Yeah, this one's much quieter than the last one. Oh, I'm liking the, I'm liking the soundtrack. I'm just trying to play a little bit of each. Get doomed. Nice. Like Godot not here. Back to the beginning. Okay, I, I like liked Strange, Strange Garden. Garden. We're gonna go I don't with know that if... one. Oh, it stays in the menu. Okay. Mm. Let's go to controls because we have to um... jump, right, crouch, left. Do you want me to print these out? Oh my goodness. Neck hit. As I was thinking. Neck hit. I didn't get to do it. Leg hit. Head chop. Ooh. B. High defense. Roll right. Low defense. So B is defense and roll away. Roll left. What is option one? Um, A, it's A, they changed it. It's A and B now. A and B together. Yeah. I'm gonna put Rotate this sword. Yeah. Kick. Okay. Head hit. I'm not gonna remember all these. I'm just gonna just mash and try different mash. things. That's well, usually my approach. That's usually my approach with these games. Button mashing. We will show them all. Roll right, roll left. Okay, so kind of like hits. Roll right and left, and then together is kind of the fancy stuff. Although the head chop is A and backwards. Uh, the head chop. Oh yes. Yes. So, so yeah, neck, that's waist leg, high, the roll head right, chop left, is like a slow. Spin, so you can almost think of it as spinning backwards and then forwards. Head butt, rotate sword, kick, head hit. Okay. Okay. If you don't want to use option one, you can change this. Press right. Oh, press right. There we go. That's definitely what we want. Oh, wanted. I see. Gotcha. Uh, and is there more? No, it's just the one and two. Okay. Thank you for that Thank option. Thank you. That's yeah, almost really missed good. that. Yeah. Good point. So I've got the controls printed out. I'm gonna. I, I want to try them all out. I'm gonna take them. Yep. 
Okay, let's get out of the menu. Go to play. And you can actually go to uh, training. And that might be good. Maybe easiest. Oh, it's one past easy. Oh, that's okay. Exit training with option one while paused. Oh my god. Okay. Option one while paused. This just seems like fighting. <laughs> How is this training? Very glowy swords they have. Almost like oh God, I'm terrible lit this. sabers. <laughs> you might say. Lit sabers? Yes. They're very lit up. And they're like sabers. Oh my god, I'm terrible. You this. could almost call them light sabers. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just a battle over and over. Practicing the double, double moves, kicks, down and double button is kick, nice sound effects, last kick. I know, I'm trying different things here. I want to move left, I'm hitting the wrong ones, that's why. There you go. So do they, does the other guy automatically jump? Or, oh, I bet they don't. I bet you have to jump if they're rolling. Otherwise, they bowl you over. Oh, terrible. <laughs> I think laser sword is the accepted generic term. Laser sword. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into the actual game. Oh, I'm doing terrible. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. A and B are the reverse of what I'm expecting them to be. I think that's why oh, okay. I keep doing because this is A and that's B. Oh, okay. So that's what's confusing me. I think I know I I'm not ready to play. I. <laughs> okay. Easiest there. I yeah. Um, this is A and that's B, right? I don't know. I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. So that's jump. So this was low defense. That's low defense. This is a review of the game from Brew Otaku, a homebrew magazine, um, directed by uh, Kojoti. That's the founder of the Retro Guru team. And I'm gonna read out part of it. Well, Tanya's practicing her moves. I I know what my favorite move is right now. Which one? <laughs> I won. Nice. Rotate sword. Rotate sword. <laughs> Rotate sword. So you push towards them and... Show oh, me. I play again? Oh, you just play over and over. And over. Practice. Is that it's one? Rotate sword. It's hitting the head? No, it's not hitting. Oh. Not close enough. I, I just feel like I don't know these. I, I don't have any sense of this at all. You're the guy in the green, right? Which one are you? Blue. Oh, okay. Barbarian meets Star Wars. This could be a short sum up for Starblader. Royal siblings got attacked in their glider. Oh, this blah, blah, blah. is doing the exact opposite of what I the think prince. it's doing. The prince is constantly attacked and it's serious about life and death. Different positions and fighting moves might help to attack specific body parts of your opponent. In game, you'll find details in these different moves and That's a training it. mode. One of the most spectacular moves is possibly chopping off the head of your enemy. The head falls to the floor, a few red pixels appear, and the, a little green robot passing by the playfield kicks away this round remain. Is that disgusting or genius? We can't tell, but what we can tell is this is nothing new either. UK-paced pixel legend Simon Butler has been responsible for the graphics, and as you can clearly see his decades of experience when it comes to pixel art. Every new background and sprite art seen by the eye is pure hand-set pixel love. Gisberto Rondinella picked up the challenge to write the Atari Lynx code, which was quite an intense task. The first demo of this game has seen daylight as at the German Demo Party Revision 2021. Michał Szablowski uh, provided the soundtrack, and especially the scenery in combination with his tunes raises the overall atmosphere to another level. Conclusion. Starblader is great, but short while hack and slash game. 
which is difficult and requires dedicated training. Yeah, it does. It is can quite complicated. Can you defeat Luger and rescue your sister? If you own a Comlinx cable, you can train against a fellow player. Not many new Lynx games have this feature, which makes this title outstanding. Oh no, shit! American German author Mark Wamsler wrote a short novel about the story, which is delivered with the boxed game as well. This is the training room, not the game. Yes, yeah. Tanya is training. Are you done training? Yes. No, it's, it's very hard. Well, practice the moves one at a time. So up is jump, left and right or left and right, down is crouch, and A is neck, waist, leg, neck, waist, leg, and her back is head chop. Uh, B is more defense moves. Yeah. Hive defense, low defense, roll left, roll light, right. So A is all your hits. And then the combination one is all the special moves. Up, headbutt, head, makes sense. Down, low, kick. Uh, right, rotate sword. And left, head hit. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, you're getting into combat. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Want me to play? Sure. Okay. <laughs> So we have one player, two player in training. Nice. I am not special enough to own two lynxes. Maybe in the future. Okay, future lynx. Um, I also asked uh, Nop90 if any of the emulators can do two player work with the lynx because I'm thinking mm. there you can get a USB to DB9 to um, eighth inch, and there has been some progress towards emulating the com lynx. But there is nothing that is up to snuff to be able to communicate in real time between an emulator and an Atari Lynx yet. But hopefully in the future that will happen. But of course there has to be games for people to want to play and to continue the development of it. Oh, nice. Kotex Forest. Match one of three. Okay, so I'm going to mostly do A for the hits. So I'm blue. And I'm guessing it starts easy. How do you block a roll? Maybe I'll just roll you. Okay. Does it hurt you when you roll them over? I'm guessing I don't it think does. it does anything. I don't think it does anything. You just roll under them. Ah! Yeah. I think the key is figuring out the defense, the defense moves. I don't always find having that grid there easier. You almost have to play it and figure out what to play. Oh my Gang destroy. See, it's hard. <laughs> Even on the first level, so it's hard. hard. It is challenging. Stop jumping. Joystick first, then button. Yes, Not joystick at the same and button. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna have to keep chopping his head because I'm way behind. No! 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 Oh, so close! <laughs> no, my lifeless body is being dragged away. <laughs> Is that it? I thought it was one of three. Well, you lost your first game. I thought it was best of three. Match it's of one of three. It's not best of three. I have to defeat him three, three times. Three times. I think that's correct. Oh, roly poly. What are you doing? Well, it's close. No, like if you hit him. 
No, rolling? No. You automatically jump when someone rolls. <gasps> no! Kick my head away. How dare you! <gasps> it's not a robot. It's in the instructions, it says he's a robot. Who? He's the, not a robot. The, the guy who drags you away? Yeah. Oh, maybe he is. It's a goblin. Oh, so so sweet. <laughs> nice. So you can... Speed. No, you can hold the button. Can you? Yeah. Oh, I don't okay. know what was happening before. That's Fatality! Weird. Yeah. It's very hard to do that. Yeah. You have to, because the computer has a very good defense against it because it's such a slow move. Yeah. You have to really time it. Like, how do you defend? How do you defend? B. B, um... B and what? Right or down, I think. No, that's roll. Right or down. No, that's... Up or down. Upper, upper... Left. Upper left, I think. It's right there. B. High defense is up and B. Yes. Low defense is oh, down okay. and B. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I got him once. Good job. It's very, very difficult. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> it's only going to get harder. Oh, he changed his outfit. Well, it's a new person. Very nice. No! <gasps> How do I defend against that? High uh, defense. High defense. And up. up and B. Okay. With one move, no matter how far you get into the nice. game, it can be over. Yep. That's cool. But that's you how the original one is. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> that's how barbarian is. Zed. Oh okay. no, you have to move to the right. Oh, <laughs> every, oh well. everyone Zed is, is okay. different. Zed is oh, okay. No. Okay, so, let's see. Defend. Does that defend? Mm -hmm. the chopping? Does that do the chopping? I really want to chop his head off. <laughs> do the swinging sword. I love the swinging sword. Rotate sword? Rotate maybe? sword. So, right and two. No, you're kicking. That's down. Unless it's wrong. Doing, it's down and both. It is wrong. I'm doing right and both. Then do down and... There you go. Ah. It's my favorite. The instructions are incorrect in the game. That's okay. Bug. Yeah, that is a good one. Swinging. I'm getting my ass You can get it. When he gets close to you, the swinging works really well. Come on. Step forward. You know you want it. Come on. Oh, he's going to go for your head. There you go. Oh my god, it's so hard! <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, Jusperto says if you leave the menu, let the menu run, after the high scores, you can see some CPU versus CPU demo battle. Oh, we so will So you do can that. see the other nice backgrounds. Yes, we want to see the other nice backgrounds. I'd like to earn it, but. I'm not good enough to earn it. I, don't, I know I'm not good enough to earn it. I <laughs> might get through a couple of people, but that would be about it. I'm gonna try some more, though. Okay. Is very hard. Cat Botterina is giving us facts about the Lynx. Oh, excellent! Thank the you. Video for the video hardware of this Lynx was custom built and designed by Jay Miner and Dave Morse. It used two chips named Mikey and Susie. Is it bad that I enjoy the body getting dragged off the screen? It's a nice touch. I agree, and I like that decapitation. Uh, is pretty impressive. <laughs> Um, holding the button and up works, but holding the button like and it. down doesn't work. Holding the button and up? Holding the button and up works. But not down. But down does not work. So there's some inconsistencies with the controls. Yes. Oh, he did well that time. Yeah, because I just chopped his head. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing that, and then I'm going to practice other moves while I get him low. Because... The only one that seems to work well for me at the moment. There's no defense against it. Which, just what is it? Just the... Up and... Oh, no, 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 no. See what he's trying to do? He's doing a Hail Mary. That's for me, 
So it's not just you, Carl, about liking the uh, body getting dragged off. Yeah, it's great. That's two. And maybe we can get to the next background. Maybe. Just gotta pass That's this three guy. Three of three. <gasps> He's gray. Oh. I always feel like gray is more serious. You know, if you're an orange, not so serious. Gray, very serious. <laughs> very serious. Like Somber. navy blue, gray, black. You're you're here. It's business. It's all business. You know, if you're magenta, it doesn't have the same weight as gray. Oh, come on, let me chop your head. No, you gotta sometimes. Oh, oh. no! No! Roll away! Roll away! Lose now. Must chop your head. More. Yeah! Good job. Since the game already has decapitation, why not just have blood spraying everywhere? Mm. Does it not? It's all blood, blood all over Tons the ground. Blood. Tons of blood. Mount. Zax Zax. Excellent. We're on a dis different planet. Lovely. Yes. Now we got purple guy. That's the one I use for the cover. Again, purple. Ah. Not quite as serious. Headbutt. These are beautiful. Yes, the graphics are. The graphics are great and the movements are great. It just, it's a matter of learning them and he implementing. He had green blood for a second. Did he? Oh, I'm almost dead. Yeah. Oh. Then oh. it's game over, right? It's just one hit. Pretty sure. One defeat and it's game over. Did very well, though. No. Oh, it's a brutal game. You, li <laughs> you literally get one life. Dead PH. So we'll let the demo run. Okay. And we'll see all the different worlds. I want to see the different, the different uh, CPU versus CPU demo battles. And then I'm going to try and try and get a decapitation. <laughs> yeah. New high score. Woo. Yeah, the CPU definitely gets stronger. This is not how you get a head up on the competition. <laughs> 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 Every time I see that, I read his scores. Not high score. His scores? His scores. <laughs> oh. So there's the one oh, we're on. There is the one that you ended on. Yep. Nice. Uh, I can say this, the CPU is very good. <laughs> so it puts up a good yeah. challenge. Like yeah, it does. If you want a good challenge, uh, this game is ready for you. And when you play, you don't get, you don't select um, what difficulty though. That's only for training. It's right? only for training. Because to start easy and ramp up. Yeah, the game yeah. ramps the, the, up. The game ramps up. Which makes up. sense. Yeah, yeah it, it's like an arcade game. It is what it is. There is no yeah. easy version of the arcade game. Let's see if there's another world or his, is it the same one. His cores, his cores. His core, yeah. his scores. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't skip abs day. <laughs> nope. Oh, nope. there's the one you start on. There's the starting. With uh, very ominous plants. Not good for allergies, I'm guessing, those plants. <laughs> they look like they give out giant spores. Little, uh... Giant spores. That's very sci-fi. Uh -huh. um, they just look like vines. They don't They don't give me allergy uh, anxiety. Those they just, bulbous it just, things on the top? It feels like wherever you look are... Look like they're going to go... Yeah. <laughs> But it, it just feels humid. Seeds. I look at that and oh, it yeah. feels like like Florida, you know, like humidity everywhere. His oh, core, yeah. he doesn't skip abs. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, I, know. I did, yeah, it took me a second. Let's see the next one. So how many different worlds are there? The plants reminds me of the hydrogen plants from the movie Titan, Titan A. A. Mm. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, I did get top score. Oh, back. Oh, that's Just those this two? One. There must be another one. We'll let it run one more round. I want to see a decapitation. <laughs> you did. By me? <laughs> Again. Yes. Smack, smack. See? Green. Green. You saw green? Yep. It's because he's green? No, he's blood, uh, blood red. red. Red blood most of the time, but like once in a while, it's green. He's got two types of blood, depending. He must have two circulatory systems. One where it pumps green blood. It's just lymph. One where... <laughs> it's lymph. 
Green lymph, not yeah. a good sign. Oh, put on a different tune. Well, we don't want to interrupt. Okay, after this. The demo. But we'll put on a different tune. Yeah. Those pods make Spock experience emotions. <laughs> wrote that, I heard a distinct boing sound. Boing? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So... Tunes, 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 oh. tunes, tunes. Okay. Good luck to me. <laughs> Kick! Bye bye, head. <laughs> and that's how you start every game. That's right. You just do that every single time. <laughs> you kind of wait, move in a little bit, and you wait for him to come in, and you chop off his head. Oh, he, he was wise. He was yeah. wise to your tricks. He watched the match. He watched the previous match. Spin, spin the sword. Spin you it. You kind of have to back favorite. off. And... <gasps> You have to be at the right distance. When I played Barbarian before, that was so much fun to chop off their head. Yeah. <laughs> you always tried to get it in as whenever you could. Mm -hmm. But it, he has to kind of move in at the same time you're doing it, so he, he's not. Yeah, he's he kind can't of be swinging. If he's swinging, you're out. Oh, oh, you have to block. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the block has to come in. <laughs> But excellent, excellent game. I think it will beautiful. really excel as a two-player game. Oh, it's beautiful, too. Beautiful. Um, yeah, nice shop times, too. Yeah. Um, graphics are awesome. Gameplay is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's kind of that Prince of Persia, Karatika, mm -hmm. slow, planned movement. Because if this was super fast, you wouldn't be able to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's more like a... Um, strategy, action strategy game, where it's slow enough that you can kind of defend yourself if you see a move coming. Better players than us <laughs> can do that. Um, and I think it'll really excel as a two-player game because both will be humans and not an evil AI. <laughs> Karate Champ with swords. Yes. yes, Karate Champ as well is, is that kind of slower 80s one-on-one um, -on -one uh, fighting games. Yes. Because once you get into the Street Fighter era of one-on-one -on -one fighting games, it becomes like super fast, um, and you have to have massive reflexes for that, which I was never able to pull off. That's the that's a genre of games I cannot play. Is one-on-one -on -one fighting games? I'm not great at them either. <laughs> yes. I used to play them where there's like 50 moves, and you have to memorize oh, yeah. all the and defensive the and against the offensive. Every player has their own special moves, so you usually yes. just figure out one player's moves, and you always yeah, you want to specialize. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And in this one, there's you know there's 12 moves, so if you if you memorize the moves, you could probably you, do pretty well, better than we have. <laughs> but I think the it's real nice. key is to memorize the defense. Actually. I, just want to play one more okay. <laughs> and do the defend defending moves. Yeah. Because I think you really High have and to low learn. Defense. Really have to learn your defensive moves. Let's see. High. Do I have to do low for that? Stop hitting my head. Hit low. <laughs> that yeah. that's that didn't hit you. Oh, that hit you. That was high defense, low defense. Yeah. High. Can yeah. you do it fast enough, though? It's so fast. No, it's so fast. That's fine. Wow. I think, though, if he's spinning for a head chop, that's... high defense. You know, I think that's where the defense becomes really important. Yeah, is, for the is, slower moves. It's the big moves, yeah. Because yeah. they, they just, pff, done. Since the Lynx has such great sound, it should have perfect and decapitation. decapitation. Oh, yeah, it should. Maybe the occasional it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing game. Um, everything about it's mm -hmm. really, really good. Mm -hmm. and I think people who um, love one-on-one -on -one fighting games will love it. Uh, will really love yeah. that game. So excellent, excellent. So, what is the plans, Gisberto, for that game? 
Is there, is it going to be uh, boxed? How much further do you have to go mm -hmm. with the game? Um, so the next game we'll be, we will be playing is Gotcha Gun. And this is a Tate shooter, which means it's a vertical shooter. Vertical. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to switch over to vertical mode. Ooh, there's a vertical mode. Uh, which means I rotate oh, and the screen I don't. virtually. It doesn't matter. It's just a shooter. Doesn't matter. To us, it's a side-scrolling shooter. Okay. To them, it's a vertical shooter. Funny enough, the intro is. That is. Oh. Okay. Don't skip this. How to play? Left, right, up, down. A, which is the right. And B for special move. So Gotcha Gun is by the Osio team. Osio? Osio. Uh, Gisberto Rondinella for code. Uh, Martial Devod, Mars for graphics. No, no. No, no, no. You keep the joystick upright. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's what I didn't quite understand. No, um, I <laughs> And <laughs> Michał okay. Szablowski, Miker for music again. Tate or Tate? Tate or Tate as in short for rotate? I swear I looked it up. And it's Tate. I'm gonna have to look it up again. I swear it was Tate. But rotate makes sense, because that's what you do. Is ah. Rotate. Ouch! Um, so this build is from August 21st. Um, this is available in the Atari H forums if you want to uh, um, download it, the one we're playing. Uh, in this release, there's only the first level and the first boss coded in a few weeks for Silly Venture 2024 SE. There will be a full version one day. Who knows, it says. Story. In the many cityscapes of Neo Skies, a young girl named Zia, known for her funky style and signature red cap, zips through the air. The mechanical authorities dubbed Max are relentless. And, but Zia is faster. She weaves between the towering skyscrapes, her red cap flapping in the wind as she targets the mech's precious cargo. With each successful heist, Zia's skull sharpened, but do so, but so do the mech's defenses. One day in the bustling metropolis of Aram, she spots a heavily guarded vault atop a robotic sentinel. With a sly grin, Zia swoops down, dodging laser beams and automated drones. She cracks the vault with ease, her hands a blur of practiced movements. As she grabs the treasure, alarms blare and the mech's eyes glow a menacing red. The chase is on. With new fangle, newfound strength, Zia rockets into the day, her red cap a beacon of rebellion against the mechanical tyranny. Very excited to play this, a shooter. More like a bullet hell. There's enough bullets it is a bullet hell. to say it's bullet hell. Mikey is, Miker is the Mikey music guru. He is. I like the included how to play. The bright colors and the cuteness, this is fun. Yeah, the how to play is very arcadey. Very Neo Geo. Yes. It's only gone past the first level. Oh my goodness. You can do it. I believe in you. Stage one. <laughs> Go stage one. It says there is only one stage. Oh, okay. So I want you to complete it. Oh, Atari symbol on top of the building. Yeah, great colors. Don't kill the green ships. Try Don't. to catch them to get more firepower. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's what I missed. Don't shoot them. Yay! It's oh, it says ouch! Well, you're hitting Oh, bullet. I have to use that! Oh! oh catch, catch them! Oh, oh. God. Okay, I get it. Now I'm dead. Detention. But now I get it. Now I was trying to figure out what that was about. That makes more sense. You have three of those special catching. Oh, and her dress flaps in the wind. Very great animation. And simple, non-intrusive backgrounds as well. Like, there's a definite separation between uh, the, the gameplay and the background. And I find, not very often, 
Yay! Um, ooh, upgrades. Not very often, but some games it's really hard to differentiate what. Oh, yeah, that might explode. Ah, whoops. I was only trying to get away. Oh, it's so hard uh, to dodge them. Oh, my goodness. Detention. Dead. You got oh, caught. Gosh, you, get, you die very quick. I don't think very there is cool. a small hitbox. I think it's your whole body. Yeah. Is it? Seems is it your whole body? Yeah. Your legs. The hand meter must be full, so it has oh. to it has to How do you build regain. It up? You don't have to use the hand. There you go. Now yeah, now your hand meter isn't full. Very hard to dodge. This is the deadly part. So deadly. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Brutal. 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 Let's start up here. It's five each. Five of every character? No, these guys. Oh. It's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. You can just go from right to left. Uh -huh. so there's like a timing to it as long as you don't get hit. Oh uh, god. Nope. What happened? You didn't get it. Oh, now my meter's down, and I have a pea shooter. No! Oh my god. Terrible. Playing one more. <laughs> oh, you still have Star Blazer oh, on the cart. Thank you. Good timing. Good timing. <laughs> Yeah, usually when it's games and shooters, the uh, Tate or Tate mode is fine because it just becomes a side shooter for us. Yeah, it does. And it's like, mm, it doesn't matter. As long as you don't have to read, read anything, then yeah. it's not a problem. Okay. I'm going to not approach it from the front and approach yeah. it from the side. The hand has to hit it. Sorry, dude. It's okay. Oh, pea shooter. So when you get injured, ah, oh, that part is so hard. It is so hard. I don't even know what to do. Like just stay on the top and clear out the top. Well, don't get hit when you have an upgraded weapon. That's number one. Much more careful. But there's so many bullets on the screen. At least that's auto fire. That's wrong. See, and I, I, I want to die right. now. Your pattern got out of whack. Yeah. Hey, Dan, it is a fun shooter. Dope. Yeah, let's start that over again. There's a pattern there. Yeah. Did I miss it? Did Jesus Barrett say what they were going to do with No. Jesus what are your plans um, for a Star Blader? And how close is it being to being uh, finished? Oh, I kill it. 
that's okay. You're full. Oh, you're full again. Yeah, but oh, okay. you lose it, I think, if you get hit. Yes. Here comes trouble. That's a way. Just shoot one and pass through it. Yeah, but so then much. I didn't get Time. There you go. Shooting the people. Good job. Oh, Starblader should be published before the end of the year. Ah. Nice. Excellent. Oh. Oh, it's still alive. These guys are brutal. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so hard. <laughs> 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 this definitely should have been developed further. I made it really <laughs> this is really hard. Ah, uh, hard games are good. Yeah, gives you something to shoot for, literally. Oh, you have to get it right oh. next to them. You only have a very brief period of time. I do. Oh, now I got this. Oh, oh, I shot him accidentally. Oh, the dangers of auto fire. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Just destroy this guy and pass through. Not that guy! Yeah. No! No, you could use your hand too if you have a hand. Yeah, but I killed him immediately. Oh, well, there he is. Oh. A smaller hitbox. Oh, that dot on you. Mm. Oh, that must be it. Because usually bullet hell have like that little dot that shows you where your vulnerable spot is. Mm. One more. I did better, <laughs> but not good because I didn't get the power up. Well, you need the second power up. Can you get it? I swear you did. You tried and it didn't do anything. No, you have to get, no, you have to have a hand. I didn't have oh. the hand highlighted, so you have to have that highlighted. And that just builds up from shooting people. Yeah, I'm shooting things. So now your hand highlighted. Oh, it has to be helpful. And when you get hit, I think it goes down. So now you have the ability to grab them. There you go. Now you have the doubles. Oh, so hard. Now stop if you want to get him. Oh, you can't shoot up the middle when he comes. Well, I'm ready for the next guy. Very quick. He does. He's very cool. Nice. Oh, yeah. You can get him. <gasps> oh, Pressed it, but he shot. He shot me. Why does he shoot me? That's so rude. He's he's helping me, but not helping me. I guess he's the enemy, but you can like steal weapons from him. Sort of, something like that. I'm so sh scared of shooting now. Not it's these guys, but they move. Yeah, they, they... Dodge in there. Green? It's, it's Green? No, the horrible I don't even ones. Have it. Oh. Just kill one up the side and get past them. Must be. <gasps> ah! Oh, boss time. Instant death. Thanks for playing. Can I play one more, or do you yeah. want to play again? I want to play one more. But... Okay, you play first. Okay. And then I'll play again. Try and it. Then... That must be the boss. I, I think it. So it says there's one level and a boss. Oh, it fills up the hand. Okay. There's three magnets and a hand. bottom it shows your fire. Oh my gosh, I, I tried not to kill it. Yeah. But the middle is the spot where you mm -hmm. stay because it's safe. <gasps> oh. Get him. Yeah. 
nice. I'm just back to what I had before. But it's better to have that. Nice to have double upgrades for the boss. These guys aren't too bad because they don't go right to the top. Oh, uh, it's down. so hard. So hard to avoid them. And dead. It's like two shots and you're dead. Okay, Watch your turn. that cat. He's starting to... Are you going to start chewing cords? Yes, he is. He's like, oh, I want treats. I can see it in his eyes. He's starting to chew cords. You died now there. you've got it. Nope, you've got it. Get him. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, but dodging these guys. Oh boy. When you have firepower. Technically, you can get that guy. Oh, get him. I oh, didn't. I got late. shot. He's, can you deal with hey, that? Hey! Hey! He's after cords. He's this been guy. very, very bad. He really wants tree times. You want tree time? You want to ring some bells? You're stinky. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Hit twice in a row. <laughs> the timeout is Neo so short. Neo Retro is very pretty. Yes, it is. It is really nice looking. Yeah. It's oh, gorgeous. you're playing again. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, you did really well. You got the triple, the yeah. triple shot. I think the key is you have to get all four without yeah. dying, which is really hard. Because yeah. you have to like shoot those two guys and then not shoot the middle. Because the guy to give you your third shot is there. Okay. The hands are pretty big, so you don't. Okay. No, no, no. Go up the middle. Oh, I can't get him. Oh no! Now you got it. You've got it. Oh, you killed him. So One hard. shot and you got it. So you have to keep an eye on the hand. Do it. I you have it. the hand. There you go. These games are all about memorizing the patterns. It's all patterns. Do I have it? Just those two guys. No. Is it green? No. The green guys? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So close. <gasps> Did you get him? Yep. I got him. Did you win? That's not the boss. Did you win apparently. it? I did not win it. Just Berto said that's not the boss. No! Now this I have is a the boss. Shooter. Danger, danger, breaking news. Is that the news guy? No, it's not. Yeah. Oh boy. To shoot the middle. Oh my gosh. It's all dodging. Better dodger than I am, I think. Late defense. Uh, oh. Well, we saw the boss. Oh, that was good. Good job. We saw the boss. Good job. I'll leave that to uh, better players than I. Yes. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Sirdo. Afternoon or evening? Well, it's his morning. Yes. Uh, maybe afternoon. Yeah. So close. Yeah. yeah. Challenging. Awesome. Beautiful game. Beautiful. Please keep working on it. Yeah. Knock 90. <laughs> yes. Please. That's really, really good. I can see just playing over and over and getting better and better, mm -hmm. memorizing the patterns mm -hmm. of, uh, of the enemies and keeping your power-ups. Mm-hmm. It's unfortunate you get knocked down to zero. Or do you? Do you get knocked down one? One. Or right to one when you get hit. When you get hit, you you lose, lose uh, one be, uh, bonus, I guess. One bonus. Yeah. yeah, I still had the, the 
power up. Yep. Okay. So uh, I don't know if anyone wants to treat these cats because they they seem to be enjoying eating all of our cords right now. Yeah. If you've got extra bits to spend, now Look would at be that the time. Cat. <gasps> He's so it's cute. Treat time. Oh. Yum. Yum. Yay! Yum. Yay! Treat time. Kitty treat time. Kitty treat time. Oh, he gets so excited. Are you excited? He's caught up in the cables. Yeah, he is caught up in the cables. Are you yeah. ready, cats? It's time for bets. Puss and bets. Puss and bets. It's bell ringing time. Let me start up. Oh, it's because Gar just says I'm ready to start two other levels. So, so they're oh, that's on such the way. Great news. That's fantastic. They look fantastic. Yes. Well, the first one looks fantastic. First level, the, the yeah. enemies are really good. It's a it's a bullet hell at the level that I can deal with. No. There's ones that are really hard. So place your hard. bets now. Yeah. It's time to bet on which cat will ring ten times and win the game. Yes. Is it going to be this cutie? This little Sid? This little Sid? Or is it going to be that Chonkers Atari? Oh. It's up in the air. Yes. Is Sid going to win by three? Or two or one? Or is Atari going to win by one or, or two, two or three? three? Or more. Oh my goodness. Everybody's going to Sid, Sid one to two. Huge numbers it's on that. It's a pretty good bet. It's a yep. pretty good bet. It's There's one K. Safe. Atari one to Oh nope, no, we're not nope, there not yet. yet. Not He's yet. getting a little eager. Yeah. <laughs> the horses are off. He's batting the joystick. Yeah, yes, he did try to smash that's, the... that's a small preview of what's going <laughs> yeah. on here. Sid is very ready. Yeah. He's Bang, banging everything he can. There you go. Oh, no, we've got more of a spread now. Excellent. Now we're covered. We're okay, covering the we're spread. Covered. Looks like there's going to be about 22,000 <laughs> up for grabs. Wow, that's a big pot. So put your bets in. We've got 48 seconds left. Oh, we're getting to get there. get the bets in. Hi, are you ready? There's, there's not much in Sid 3 Plus right now. So if you want to do a big odds, yeah. <laughs> that might be the one to go for. Mm -hmm. Yes, he says. Sid is ready. Atari's Atari's ready. Atari's calm. licking my hands. He's very excited. Two very excited Let's close cats. The door so Atari can't leave the... Uh... Yeah, it's funny how he loves to rush out the room. <laughs> leave the area of competition. Got yeah. 15 seconds left. Put your last minute bets in. Oh, some Sid 3 Plus oh, last minute go. bets. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot. About 25,000 points I up think, for grabs. I think everyone's leaning towards Sid for the a most little, part with yep. a few exceptions. But Atari pulls it out sometimes. So yep. He is you never know. Long bets and it's not. It's worth it. Oh, Listen. it's closed. All right. All right. It's kitty treating time. Are you ready, kitties, for your treats? Yes, you are. Okay, let's make sure the bells are good. Bells are good. Okay. Are you guys ready? <laughs> that's a yes. I would say that's a, a yes. Oh. oh, that was Atari. Atari is Atari. Off to the Early races. leads. Oh, there's Sid. Oh, he hits it like a billion times. <laughs> it's one and one. It's tied up. And they're off to the races. Sid, Sid pulls ahead with 2-1. Atari's trying to get that second point. He does. He gets that second <gasps> point. No, don't no. know. <gasps> there. No, you have to ring the bell. Oh, there's Sid. Sid. <laughs> Three to two for Sid. Bad he almost case. got went for the steal. Oh, Sid. Which does not benefit him. Going for a steal. Oh, Sid. Sid. <laughs> Five, two. Destroying. Atari, get in there. Atari hit the bell. Good there kitty! Go. Five three. Sid is now knows what to do. Oh, he's he's distracted by Atari's win. Oh, Sid is pacing. Yep. He's got another one. Six three. He's ahead by three now. Atari can even it up. There we go. It's six four for Sid. Sid is distracted once again, but he's oh he hit the side of it. That does not count. Oh, he's tipped it over, but he did ring it beforehand. Yeah, he did. That does count. There you go. Go, there Atari. Go. Hit the bell. Good there kitty. Oh, go. Atari gets it. Sid is next. Is distracted once again. He's chewing it up. It's seven to five. Sid. And Sid put, brings it into the three plus zone again. Hit the bell. Oh, Good Atari kitty. Atari brings it back down. Changes the category. Sid is confused. 
<laughs> he's looking around for treats. He sees none. He yeah. brings them out for one. <laughs> but Atari keeps bringing it Good. back to. Oh, knocks it across point. the room. Oh, no. And Sid's over there. Sid's, he's Sid's like, what's going on? There's a treat There's over a here. There's a treat over here. And it's oh, over. Oh, Sid. Oh, my seven. goodness. Three points. Three points. Oh, let me give you some. Okay, enough. Enough. You there you it. go. You win. You're good. Extra treats for kitties. Good kitties. Congratulations to Sid. Good kitties all round. Three plus points. Very good kitties. For a total all of right. 17. Oh, don't eat too fast there, cat. Be so right let's back. dole out the points. It is Sid three plus. Who got that? Nostalgic says, Atari, won't you win for me just once? Polygox and two other people split the pot, a seven to one ratio, winners. And they won 25,840 points. Congratulations on that, Sid, by the three whiskers. Good job. Good job, kitties. Very good job. Okay, so next up. For our third game, also by Nop90. He's a maniac. Uh, it is Fruity. This is by Retro Guru. Uh, Jusberto Rondinella, Nop90 for Code. Michał Shablowski, Miker for Music Conversion. Jonathan Dodd for Graphics Conversion. And Code Jyoti. Hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, there's all the Sid faces. Might as well put them on the screen. Sid for the win. There we go. Bouncing around. Okay, so we have this uh, version is today. There was an updated version of Fruity. Fruity Y. Fruity Y. Now, how do you say Fruity. it? Fruity. Fruit. E. Apostrophe. Capital Y. Fruity. Fruity. I think so. <gasps> So who Atari won't win? Oh, so who who got most of the polygox and two others? Polygox Very and nice. two others split the pot. Nice. Yes. Very, Very nice. Good job, good job polygox. So <laughs> this is actually a port of a game, kind of. Um, oh no, it is. It's a port of an Amiga game. Okay. So let's take a look at the original game made for the Amiga. Blast our ears. Let's get to the gameplay. Uh, it's inspired by the Amiga game Gem X. Gem so X. fruity. Fruity. Okay. Gem X. Fruit Y. Yeah. Wouldn't it be Fruit Y then? Fruity. No. Gem X and Gem Fruity? X. Or Gem fruity. X Come and on. Fruit Y? Fruity. Mm. I love you. I love you. <laughs> so this uses gems. I love gem games. The game we're going to be playing uses fruit. And gotcha. they pro and when you click on a gem, it progresses through the colors. The one you click on progresses two. The ones on the left, right, top, bottom progress one. So oh, red I to getcha. green, green to blue, blue to purple purple to yellow so it's patterns gotcha yes. and you're trying to get it to one pattern so it is yeah. i kind of get it okay that's going to take a little bit of understanding but yeah and it starts off tutorial ish um so retro guru post on august 18th a physical release for collectors is planned with dragon box shop so this Lynx game we're going to be playing will have a physical release soon so there is the amiga version oh my goodness one of those games, is it? <laughs> yep, it's one of those games. It is it. Is it one of those games? <laughs> it seems to be one of those games for traveling businessmen <laughs> who see the arcade next to the bar or the arcade in the bar. Nice. Uh, so let's pause that. So this was the <laughs> uh, post by Retro Guru a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago. Fruity for Atari Lynx is now out. A physical release for the collectors is planned with Dragon Box Shop. Nice. There you go. From Germany. So they'll be doing nice. a physical release of the game. Um, 
And there is a uh, web page on a retro guru website. Oh, another. Fruity, playing with edibles. Oh my goodness. Um, Fruity is heavily inspired by the Keiko Classic Gem X, which has been seen on computers such as the Commodore Amiga 500, Commodore 64, and Atari ST. Nice. Although Tiger Mom forbids little Sharon to play with edibles, there is simply no way to stop him from playing with fruits found inside the deep jungle. Being shiny, smelling wonderful, and tasting even better, Sharon can't be kept away. So let's do the best we can could do. Support him! The game consists of two boards of fruits. The left belongs to Sharon, who needs to reproduce the right field one-to-one -to, -one to be able to proceed to the next level. Sounds easy? Ew, it sounds puzzly! Ah, uh, there's the soundtrack, so you can nice. miss all the music. Nice. Handset pixels! Amiga chip tune, Score tracking! 120 levels. Whoa, 120. So there's some screenshots. Very nice. And now this, by the um, Retro Guru team, has been ported to Ooh. 24 systems. Awesome. Look at them all. Some of them I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Windows, Linux. Let's pick out the ones I do know. PlayStation Portable. PlayStation Classic Mini Amiga. Uh, Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Mac OS. Wii. GameCube. Raspberry Pi. Uh, Android, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation mm. 2, Pocket Go. Look at all the rest, too. Moto Mag X. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, and now, Lynx as Yay. well. And there's all the downloads that you could ever want for every platform. Johnny the WizKids, we will be in Portland yes. three weeks. So if you're going to be there, definitely come up to us and say hi. We'll yes. give you one of these new stickers. One of these new stickers or two i bought a whole bunch of them check it out yay stickers that web page. check it out <laughs> and tell us your name online when you come up to us because we're like i don't know i don't know because you know what we look like we don't know what you look like so yeah some of you we know some of you <laughs> well if if we've seen you a number of times then uh, we know what you look like is that what you look like excellent Sunglasses. We'll for the sunglasses. Popped collar. Yep. Brown hair. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> We're all good now. Um, so September 3rd, there was an update given to this game. Mm -hmm. Attached is an update date with two small graphics changes. Uh, Zero Page Homebrew, please use this version. And if possible, remember to check the in-game menu triggered by the pause button. Mm -hmm. We will. So in-game menu. While you're playing, we'll test that out. Okay. Let's... A load up fruity and get out of Tate mode or Tate mode, which I will be looking up. Boom. And reboot it. I know that's just an emoji made for my channel. Oh, I nice. know, I know. We're just having fun. Bring it on. There we go. So originally this was uh, put out August 18th, 2024. And this build is from today. It's a 200K game. You can download in the Atari Age forums or I think on the website there. It may not have the most up-to-date one. Not sure. So let's go to Lots of great music there. Excellent. So, small one, one step on the sides and top. Middle goes two steps. Middle goes two steps. Yeah. Okay. See, so see the yep, top yep, one. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I get it. Yep. I get it. Okay. And if you go past, it goes to nothing. So you can make them disappear too. Sometimes you want to do that. So oh let's just wait. I'm gonna go to Help. the pause menu. Help. 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 Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. Oh. Oh. Still in Tati mode. I switched it, but didn't switch it. Thank there you go. go. So paused. Auto solve. Ah, oh, uh, no, that's cheating. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, if we get desperate. Okay, continue. No, no. So we've got some cherries. There we go. Woo! Great. 
time bonus. Thank you, Nostalgic, for uh, letting us know. Yes, this is an Atari Lynx game. It's a Lynx day today. I'll try to look like this. I'll bring my visors. Excellent. Pop your collar, too. So we've got... That'll go two, which disappears. There you go. Very tutorial yes. in the first few months. That's what you need. I'm awesome. guessing if you screw it up, it'll restart you over. I don't know. Oh, this is full of oranges. There you go. Solve that part. And it's very nice to have that guide down the middle. So you know. Oh, you need the, the guide. Steps, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a little kitty. A little kitty at the bottom. An orange kitty. Oh, hi. One orange brain cell. Oh, <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> so mean to the little that's, kitties. That's a, a, a subreddit. Is it? Yes. No. Oh. People posting their orange cats doing silly things. So the left side needs to stay true. Very confused. That's that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm like for a second there, I was mirroring it. I'm like something's wrong. Um, so if you hit that, and this, this one, and then that one will go one, and that one will go. One. But then how do I get? Ooh. So that's already cherry, already cherries, and that'll go two. Which but then how do I get the, the pineapple in the middle there? What the one you're on? The one beside. Oh, it did pineapple it. Yep, because it was cherry. Oh, because right. it's double. That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. My brain is just like, I think <laughs> this is what I clicked on. Um, okay. So you need to oh, that's easy enough. Some of them. Yeah, that's easy enough. That would be this one. Uh, that does two, which will definitely get rid of it. Yay! There you go! Yay! The kitty's so happy. Oh, kitties get so happy when they get the right fruits. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my turn. You get the hard one. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, oh, there's exactly a bunch of pineapples. One. I know how to do this one. I'm guessing you start in the corner. And that'll move two. Then you go down to that cherry. That'll move two. And I'll move one. And I'll move two. And that'll move one. And then we finished off. It's going to get real hard. It's going to get real hard. Good evening, can... Rod Castler. Welcome, Rod Castler. So I need treats, to disappear some of these, and it's going to be dealing just with this. So that's going to disappear. Or do I want to do this one? That'll disappear, and those will all disappear. Perfect. Yay! Hooray! That was easy. Little baby tiger's happy. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Gisberto, 120 levels. Can Ugh. you solve all of them tonight? Yes, well... we can. All of them. <laughs> we'll just switch back and forth and, uh, okay. So this has to go to one. So we have to get rid of two of them. Watch that gray cat. Um, and I Hi. think, I want to do that. Oh, oh, why does it get, oh, because the watermelon's the last thing. Yeah. So we'll do we get rid of that as well? I think that's it. Oh, no, one more. Nope, nope. Happy cat. We've got two happy cats. We're already at level 10. One over here. We only have to right do 12 here, times as much. happy cat. Oh, he's so happy. Look at that face. Aww. Oh. Little boy. One on this side, this too. This a little different. Surrounded by cats. You can't see the little baby cat to my right. So that one will fix that part. And then I need to change one of these to a banana, uh, which that will do, and then the orange will get rid of it. Do we want to do that? I think... Yes, I think that you want to do the one above. You want to do... Yes. No. Don't you? Is that, yeah, it's a cat paw. The, the cat's pawing at it. Because when you do that, you can see the paw. I what? think it's messed up. I'm going to do the bottom is. one. Well, that just reversed it. I think you were right. Maybe it 
do that. Maybe it is the apple. Maybe it is the apple. Totally screwed that up. <laughs> that so oh the top boy. is correct, but now you don't have any of. Yeah, you can't get the oranges back on those two yeah. sides. No moves left. Oh, let me see. Get to start over. Yeah, so that is. That fine. one's easy. That's easy. Uh, so you need to get rid of a bunch of apples, I think. I think just doing this, actually. Maybe on both sides. Yep. Yeah, that does it. I think I was thinking too complicated. I think me too. Just finished a treat time. Oh, you can undo. Oh, okay. That's actually helpful. There is an undo. Oh, good. Ooh, we have to get rid of a lot of stuff here. Any hungry cats or is it too early? Yes, we did just finish the treat so time. Might have to wait till a the next game. A little bit longer. Oh, you gotta get rid of most. bottom ones. I would do the bottom row first. Yeah, go over one more. Yes. Now I'll get rid of the one to the left. And we'll leave that perfect. If I do... That one then I'll get rid of two. Oh. I'm gonna scap start over. I guess it's on close. the console. Very close. Yeah. Got rid of them all in that row. Oh no. Undo is on the. I only have A and B on this controller. So I undo is Easier probably to just on there. Go it yeah. The most count at the start of the level isn't resetting to zero on screen, but it's still zero internally. The most? The move count. Oh, move count, sorry. Move count. Mm. Move eight out of nine. One move, eight, nine? Oh, I'm not sure. I would probably do what you did before, so do those two guys first. And then figure out a way to make that look the way you need it to. Right. This, I can do I think... that, and that'll solve the right. I need to... No, you need to get that one. Actually, that one doesn't matter Ooh, so much. I know. Do that. Do that. And then just get that guy. I'm sure there's multiple ways. I'm sure to there's, there's this fewer, one. but yeah. Yeah. You just gotta get there. Okay, your turn. <laughs> okay. And bottom looks. We'll only do a couple more levels. Okay. This is getting into uh, staring mode in terms of puzzle. Oh, you got that. Oh, you don't want to get rid of any. Okay. Top right. That will be Ooh, perfect. Oh, no, it won't. Yep. So that, there's bananas. I'll change it all to banana, banana, and yep, do it. It's perfect. And then there's down here. That's why you're like, do it! And I'm like, no! <laughs> do it! <laughs> you did it. Did you do it? Yay! That was easier than Time that. bonus! Woohoo! Okay. Are you we do, switching? You do one more. No, you do no, the next no, 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 no. I did a bunch. That's, well, that's fine. You do one more. Do one more. Okay. The bottom right corner, very easy. just want to get rid of one. How on earth do you get a pineapple here? Uh, oh, what? One, two, 
And then you need a pineapple there. What? You can't. You can't. Is that counting correctly? <coughs> no, no, no. It is that pineapple. Yeah. It just, it's deceptive. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah. That pineapple, and then you want to get rid of everything else to the side? Yes. So I would do it on that. Oh, well, now you're in trouble. Am I? Uh, yes, because you only have one move down that whole row. You should have done it in the middle. Maybe. That's to that. Yeah. Okay. Let's try and find the reset. Not auto undo. Oh no, no, I don't really want to undo one thing. Let's just finish off the level and restart it. Because there's too many undo levels. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. Relax for the score entering. Very nice. Oh, that's oh okay. top score! We beat Miker! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful music, beautiful graphics. Yes! The I gameplay keep works nicely. Yeah, it's a puzzle game, but we're not going to keep playing because it's a puzzle game. <laughs> <laughs> can watch us stare at the screen. Well, what if I do that, then that? Yeah, riveting. Yeah. Riveting. You can continue from the last level. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. That's, that's really nice. Yes. This is definitely an after dark. We'll just go through it all is. 120 levels. Yeah, people can tune out if they want. Nice. Really great. Okay, we are on to our last game. Woo! Thank you, Gisberto, for making those three awesome, awesome games. Like all top. top all of them notch. awesome. And the last game is also a port of an older game. Don't start yet. Um, because I want to show you where it comes from, and it, where it comes from is the Apple II, in fact, and it's never been officially, officially ported to anything. Okay. It is a port of a game called, just one second, let me switch out the cart. Now, the game that we're going to be playing is called Paratroopers. Mm. And it is a port of uh, a game called Sabotage from 1981. Mm. Very early game from the Apple II. Now, I actually remember playing this game in the 80s on the school computers. Gotcha. Now, you have to shoot the helicopters and you have to shoot the planes and eventually this guy will not be able to do it there we go and there's little parachuters and you have to get rid of them i i think i might have played this game once before and it just seems so brutal the, the oh, yeah. complete smashing up and destruction of both the poor little paratroopers i guess they're not poor little paratroopers but still that that when you shoot the parachute and they fall to their death I, and they yeah. explode oh that's yeah. the thing that stuck in my mind <laughs> as a child <laughs> from you know 40 years ago 45 years ago um so this is a massacre says it is Ryan a massacre Castle. So, oh, Sabotage so is a fixed shooter video game for the Apple II, written by Mark Allen and published by Online Systems in 1981. Uh, the player controls a gun turret at the bottom of the screen, by either by keyboard, paddle control, or a single axis of a joystick. The turret can swivel the car cover a large area of the screen, but cannot move from its base. Helicopters fly across the screen at varying heights, progressively lower over time, dropping paratroopers. Waves consist of helicopters coming at progressively lower altitudes, a brief rest, then a wave of jets. Mm -hmm. And so let's stop this. Ah, uh, the first way, first stage of Beachhead 2. Uh, what is the first? Oh, yeah. Is that the one with the walls? Yeah. More, uh, more I think that's the one with the walls is like the first stage. Decapitated bodies or <laughs> yeah and then you shoot them coming out of the walls and you are oh, a fixed turret at the bottom funny, i bet funny. it did have some influence from that oh, gosh. 
Okay. Go for it, paratroopers. The player earns points by shooting helicopters, paratroopers, jets, and bombs. Mm. Firing a shell costs the player one point. Yes. So you can't just go nuts on the trigger. Uh, there's an incentive to conserve ammo. The score never drops below zero, so you just go right back down to zero if you go crazy. The play the game ends when the player's turret is hit by a bomb. When a single parachute uh, paratrooper lands directly in the turret base, um, uh, when the th when three paratroopers land safely atop each other, immediate adjacent to the turret base, or when four paratroopers safely land on either left or right side. Oh my gosh, this is crazy! Yeah. Ah! It will be done. Oh no! Four, four paratroopers. Oh that's oh, it. That's too much. Oh no! <laughs> Thirty-nine. Oh boy. Oof. If four land on a side, they're able to build a human pyramid and climb up to the turret and blow it up once the sky that is clear. That is so funny. So there is a lot of games made that borrow from this. Uh, so for the Atari 2600, oh there's Commando Raid. Also, Missile Attack and Defense. Mad. Um, paratrooper for IBM PC, incoming for Atari 8-bit, Paratrooper, Parachooter for the Apple II GS, Night Raid for the PC, and uh, Parachute for iPods. So the key is really to shoot the airplanes. Oh, it's so hard to shoot them, though. They're coming out so fast. Yeah. Like... This is much faster than the Apple II game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's much harder. It starts off difficult. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, there's so many. More, I'm dead. so dead. Ah, no! Uh, no! The graphics are great oh, on this so... version. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you do have to get those those planes. 60! There you go. Oh my gosh. Why is the file name WarCrimes.rom? <laughs> is it? Was it? Because I... it is. Are you not allowed to shoot at parachuters in war? You have to let them land? To. Of course you're allowed to shoot parachuters. Aren't you? I don't know. Not up on the Geneva Convention. Have you been to war? <laughs> Fortunately. <laughs> oh, just kidding. It's not called war crimes. Um, so the developer says, I've been learning 6502 Link, uh, Link's assembler programming while writing the attached sim simple game project using the Link's assembler. It's been more fun and less painful than I thought. It might be some use to those just starting thinking about starting Lynx assembler programming. Would also appreciate some feedback from experienced 6502 ASM programmers on what I'm doing wrong, badly, or suggestions for improving the code. So updates on 722, added title screen, more sound effects, more animation, game over sequence. And update on August 5th, more sound effects, more animation, high score, difficulty curve, bomber appears when the score is over 170, and some fixes. So this is by uh, James Higgs, uh, known as Jum, on the Atari Age forums. You can download this on the Atari Age forums. Uh, this builds from August 5th. It's a 257k no. game. They get out of control so fast. Oh, yep, don't let them land right on you. Uh-oh, two more and you're dead. Oh, one more and you're dead. Uh, they also made Berserkoids, Booster, Chopper X, <laughs> Choplifter, Jump Pong, Moonrunner, oh and Paratroopers. <laughs> oh my goodness, 135 was much better. I was getting a bit of a thing going there. Um, uh, there is no paddle on the links, so it's only to be played with left and right. So it, we're playing on a, on a Lynx, oh which goodness. has technically no external controls, but I mean, we do have one. Because we've con we've have a consoleized system. One thirty five. Good job. Yeah, that was better. I was getting them as they were coming out, so you really do have to get them. But once they're out of control, that's it. You're done. Done. You have to get them the moment they come out at the side. Yep. Just. What was that noise? Somebody going downstairs. Door slamming. I just said that because there's two cats in this room, so any noises are not from the cats. <laughs> That's right. Everybody's in the room. Yeah. It's someone in the house. <gasps> it's from inside the and house. And it's not Sid! Because <laughs> usually if there's noise, random noises it's in the house, it's Sid. Knocking something over. Pulling my plants out of the arrow garden. Caught him doing that one morning. Not a good kitty. 
Bad kitty. Trying to grow some cucumbers in my arrow garden. And... Nope. Uh oh, now I'm in trouble. Oof. Oh, good job. Caught up again. Oof. Yep. Are there two player games for the Lynx? Yes! Yes, there uh, are. We played one. Yeah, actually. the one we played at the top of. Uh, the show. Yeah, you have to have two links, though. Yes. I don't know if there's single links dual player because both people could hold the hold the controller and use different buttons. I bet there's one. Is anybody in the in the chat um, knowledgeable about links games? I bet there's got to be one game where two people play at the same time. How did you make it out? Of Okay, I think we're up to the planes bombers. now. Bombers! Nice. Do they drop bombs on you? Yes. So you have to get them. Yes, you have They're to. They're the get priority. Them. Thank you. Oh, it wrapped around your uh -oh. score. What? It's now back to zero. I guess it oh. doesn't go past 200. Rolled the score. It didn't go to 1,000. Nobody thought they would be this good. Yeah. I'm wow. So good, I wrapped the score in another game. <laughs> I wrapped we wrapped the, the score. We wrapped Berserkeroids. The sc Berserkeroids? Berserker I'm, I'm not saying it. Berserkeroids. Made by the same person. Oh, is this game? Yes. Oh, that's funny. So he only likes 255 for some things. The score was much <laughs> higher. Score. score is much higher. Oh, yeah. Me. It's 2 to the 15th. 2 to the, yeah. 32,000. Yeah, something, 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 something. I'll have to let him know. Funny. That I wrapped another game of his. Uh, he just needs a higher score count. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not hard. You just add more. Another 8 bits. It's interesting the bomber disappeared. Oh, because, because I'm not Because it comes up there. at 170, so oh, once... Oh, yeah. So it actually got easier again. Uh-oh. <gasps> no landing. Not my watch. Everybody dies here. Oh, oh, 208. Oh, 255 was when it wrapped over. 255 plus 208. Neat. Well, 256 plus 208. Neat. Well, no, there's a zero. So. Yeah. There are turn-based two-player games. Well, that makes sense. You could make a two-player game, because on one side of the links, there's the D-pad. On the other side, there are four buttons. So you could do a left and right. Um, you could do a, a Pong game or any kind of um, uh, one-dimensional game. Because one person can, can boot, use the buttons on one side and one person can use the D-pad on one side. Or if you get really clever and one person's going to be at a disadvantage moving up, down, left, and right. Battle Wheels, Checkered Flag, Joust, Shanghai, Warbirds. It seems like those can be played on a single console. So multiple players, single console. Oh, thank you, Rodcaster. That's a very good list. Oh, uh, you learned from me how to play. No, I, <laughs> I was doing this before. Oh, no, there's I, so I, many paratroopers coming down your last game. No. So many. Oh, but I made it to like 140. So I made it way past here. True. I Shooting was Shooting people. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly deaths from you. No, no. I was for the first little while I was catching them as they were they were coming out. It's when ah when they get out of control. Oh, no. <laughs> it's when they get out of control. True. Ooh. Like this. They go nuts. You really do have to prioritize shooting that. Yes. And then catch the Oh come on! Oh no That was a lie! Oh, that no. was terrible! Oh no, you're dead. Oh you're dead. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. Get some points. 139. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, yes, that's true. You can't teleport the two A buttons. So you could do a left and right only. So if you can make a game with two buttons, um, yeah, I can keep doing that with zero points. Oh, you're, oh, you're wasting your points. <laughs> Wasted two points. This is an excellent conversion mm -hmm. of the original game. The graphics are better. Um, sounds better, obviously. Apple II had a beeper in it. <laughs> and it's a fun game. He just needs to fix the score. I mean, it's it's an ongoing um, game, so he's still, yes. still, still developing it. 
Nice. So he probably just thought, you know, he hasn't put any more difficulty past the bombers, so there's no need for a higher score. Mm -hmm. All those points. I don't care about the points. You got a machine gun going on. I was on. like, no. Nope. <laughs> no, it's all about just survival. Yep. Survival with zero points. So the other day when we were coming home from a concert, mm -hmm. um, we were driving down a road we drive down all the time. Oh. Um, and this road is interesting. <sighs> it's, it's, it's a two lane road. And the left lane turns into a left turn. And the right lane goes straight at the next intersection. Yeah. And then it develops another right lane, which yeah. turns right. So there's only one through lane. Well, one of the things that you have to understand is that certain parts of this road... It's going to kill you. Oh, God. Oh, no, it didn't. What happened? Oh, you sh did you shoot? Yeah. Oh. Um, I can't talk and... and... Let Play. me tell the story. Yeah, no, but you're missing a key point, which is that the right lane is a parking lane. Oh. So the... Yes. Yeah. I was just going to mention that. Anyway, that's not relevant to the story. It is relevant to the story. How? How go, is that relevant to the Go ahead. Keep talking. Story? Keep talking. So I'm in the right lane. Or I guess there's three lanes then, are you saying? There's a parking it's, lane, it, a, it, a right lane, and a left lane? I, I, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dying now. See? Dead. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> dead, 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 dead. All dead. <laughs> oh. Oh, it didn't kill you. No, because there were only two of them, which is funny. Why, oh, why did they gather? I don't know why they gathered. Before, they didn't move till there was four. Now I'm dead. Oh, now, I'm now dead. you're dead. Oh, oh now they're, they're all coming. coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all coming oh, for gosh. you. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Just get the high score you can. <laughs> like, die, 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 die. A port of invader only requires two buttons, one for each player. Mm. Ah, there you go. Nice. Okay, tell okay. the story. No, no, so, no, it's your story. It's not. You were in the car, too. No, but I, I just wanted to say the key point is you you drive down the street. Okay. There's two lanes, but for most of the street, the right-hand lane is filled with parked cars. Sure. The left lane that you're driving in after you come off this big overpass... Oh, becomes okay. a left turn lane the right lane is the straight through lane and then it develops a right hand turn lane so the lane that you're going straight in suddenly becomes a left turn lane yes it's a really stupid and it's poorly labeled so if you've never driven on that street before you think you're going straight and then all of a sudden you're in a left turn lane you're forced into a left turn you're lane. first into left turn. So, so go ahead yeah <laughs> so i'm driving in the straight lane and the person beside me to the left is driving in the straight lane, soon to become left turn only lane. Yeah. And they're kind of mm, going like this and I'm watching them. I'm like, that guy wants to be in this lane, but he's like, they're like pacing me. It was more like, I think he's drunk. That's what I, you know, when you see Maybe. someone weaving and they're either really sleepy or drunk and you're just going... That is not someone that I can rely on on driving normally. Because we're know? coming from downtown Vancouver. Maybe they went out like we did. I don't drink, so I didn't drink. Well. So I'm fine. Yeah. This guy, I don't know. You can just tell at the corner of your eye, ooh, it's danger. Going like this. Danger. Red flags. Suicide <laughs> murder. flags. That's pretty, pretty yes. accurate. <gasps> so I'm watching and I'm, I'm like, okay, he's pacing me. I'm going to try and get ahead of him because... Yeah. You can tell he wants to get in. I don't he's know what he over. wants to do. We don't know what he's going to do. In hindsight, I should have backed off him. No, I don't know. I don't know. Because he was Ugh. he was like oh, trying to pace me or something. I was yeah. just trying to get away because he was pacing me. Yeah. And then as I'm trying to get ahead, all of a sudden, with no signal, he comes, he starts coming into my lane. And I was right beside him. He obviously did not check his blind spot no he started like, moving without mirror even looking. mirror no car okay yeah starts moving over somewhat rapidly yeah and i had to really swerve my car over yeah luckily i knew that there was space space on the right hand side yeah kind of well there at, was there was at, <laughs> uh it happened to be at that point on the sidewalk there's a bus stop 
and a bunch of people waiting. Four or five people waiting. So as he swerves over, I swerve towards the right, honk my, uh, hold the horn down. So all of a sudden, these people standing on the sidewalk are Must alerted to a car heading what barreling looks, straight for them. what looks like heading straight for them with the horn on. Yeah. And like they had one second to respond, just enough to turn around and go, oh, I'm, my God, I'm going yeah. to die. Oh my God. I have no time to move. Anyway, he didn't go anywhere near the people at the, on the bus stop. No, I didn't. But it was just the I swerving was... of the car would have put us in a direct line of sight with the people at the at the, at the bus stop. So we basically gave a bunch of people at a bus stop a, a late massive night. heart attack in the middle of the night. Doubled their heart rate in two seconds. Yeah. Woke them up. Yeah. If they were sleepy oh, at all. Oh, I felt so bad. I was like, oh, no one God. got hit. We didn't so, get hit. Crazy drunk person next to us figured it out and swerved back. Swerved back, yes. But I just felt for those people at that bus stop who must have thought they well, were about to die. I do have a dash cam. But it's not a oh. side cam. No. Yeah. So I guess it would have shown the people panicking at the bus stop, I guess. <laughs> yes. And that that yeah. would... You would have just seen a bunch of faces. Whoa, because it was at night, too. I don't know if that's oh, very fun so to watch. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad. They must have been like, oh, my gosh. But then we stayed in our lane. Like, we never went on the sidewalk. But it just must have given... Oh, my goodness. So the only camera that you would have had is in an a, a advanced electric car, like in a, a Tesla that yeah. has 360 cameras. Yeah. That's the only way you would have seen the whole thing. Yeah. With a front camera and a back camera, you still would see nothing. Well, yeah, because the guy is going to just come right into you. You'd see me looking like a maniac, yeah. honking and swerving towards pedestrians. Yeah, yeah. Not a good look for no, me. No, no, So, ah, no. Uh, no, I don't need that footage. <laughs> no, no. But you were able to honk and kind of yes. just move to the side a little bit so the guy moved back. He could have gone right into you. And he, oh, yeah. But, I mean, you're not going to swerve and hit people. So that's, that's at least you the were. Ba the bad thing is he could have gone into me and I could have gone into the pedestrians. Yeah, if he point. if he had, had if he had enough momentum, he could have you. It could have been or, really bad. You know, pitted me and hit the back of my car. Or something. Yeah. I don't know what, but. Yeah. Anyway, no yeah. one was hurt, but some poor people on the sidewalk had a heart attack that night. So. Yeah. So that was oh, the end of our people. going to the concert that yeah. night. And then we got home and we were like this, you know, <laughs> when you're just like, I can't go to sleep yet. I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake now. What night was that? Oh, that was, was that the night you had Saturday a bad sleep? night. You had a bad sleep. No, no, I night. had a bad sleep on Sunday night. Sunday, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was, it due was to Saturday that. night. No, no, it wasn't because of that. No, okay. No, no, no. But yeah, oof, oof. I felt so bad for those people. The camera's very <sighs> wide angle, so if he was a bit in front of you, you should still see him. That's possible. He it wasn't. Is, is he was like right he, beside. Because James was kind of beside and trying to inch forward, so I think he might have been a bit forward, so it would have been hard. It's a good idea for a game. Pedestrian yeah, oh nightmare. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Um. So what's coming up? We're gonna do an after dark of Last Strike DX before we go to PRGE because after there's like no time. Uh, and we're recovering. So um. And be just before we go to PRG, maybe that day, maybe on the 20th, I'm not sure, we're going to have a PRG demo day. So these are all the games that are going to be demoed at PRG. And including in that, we're going to have an exclusive world premiere of Pop Box Arena, a game that has not been played anywhere yet. That's going to be on demo at the PR at PRG by uh, Latom. Um, so exclusive world premiere of that, 24th or 20th. I'm not sure on that. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be live broadcasting directly to you from mm -hmm. PRG. So if you can't make it, tune in. We're going to be at the Atari Age booth. We're going to be at Champ Games booth. We're going to be at Songbird booth. Um, and we're going to be at all the booths. All, all the, merch. the booths. <laughs> we're going to do a tour of the, the place. Merches. Yes. We're, we're going to show you as much as we can. We're going to do a tour of the arcade. Oh, I love the arcade. Oh, the arcade's so good. It Last so year good. was not... It was missing some of the games I wanted to see. Yeah. I don't know why. Every year before that, it was like, this is amazing selection. Yeah. But last year, it just didn't have the games that kind of appealed to me. Mm. Uh, in television, yeah, we'll go check out some Intellivision homebrew as well. <laughs> I don't. Of it. I don't. Yeah, all, all of it. it. Yeah, in Television Revolution has Oh, a booth. yes, yes. They have homebrew, so yeah, we'll check out all the homebrew. Every, every How about all the yeah. homebrew? Because mm -hmm. um, that usually covers. I mean, NES, very rarely would I buy an NES homebrew because I have enough <laughs> stuff to buy. Yeah. Yeah. 
And there's no ZX Spectrum at all there. It's so North American centric. Yeah, it is. Once what? in a while you see some um, European stuff, but mostly it's like showcase computer displays, mm -hmm. but not games because they know that people here don't have those systems. So there's not going to be a, uh, a group of people buying those games. So, yeah. yeah. Beer Pocock will have to get some footage of Grizzards and the big posters. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, all the big posters, all the games. That Any are other be games on you sale. might have out there? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk, make sure we've got some video for you for later on. We'll talk to developers <laughs> that are there um, at the Atari Age booth. I don't know if there are many. Obviously, John Champeau is going to be there. There's so always a talk few. Talk to him about yeah, his games. There are always but a that's few. That's a separate booth. We've done a lot of interviews over the years too, so we probably yeah. covered a lot. Of, of course, people we'll talk already. to Al. But we'll always run around and chat with people. Yeah. Yeah. I did not miss the ones from past years. Hey, that's awesome, Ryan Costler. Mm -hmm. uh, Nostalgia says, I appreciate your reports from PRG last year. I'm glad you're doing it again. Yes, we've got better equipment as well. Yes, we've we made do. it much more portable. Yes. We bought very specific portable equipment. <sighs> Fantasia demo. Yeah, we'll get some yes, video of that too. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, lapel mics. We have portable mics. Damn. We have a mic mic, you know, like a TV reporter yeah. microphone. Yeah. Somewhere over there. Yeah. I'll show it when we get closer. Yeah. Uh, once I test out the equipment again. Yeah. We have a handheld um, cell phone camera that rotates and, and moves with a joystick on it. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. We're fully equipped. Yes. This year to do nice. excellent remote broadcasting. Um, I have a better cell phone plan this year. Hopefully it works inside. It's kind of mm. iffy. If not, we're going to buy the Wi-Fi, mm. which is also iffy. It's really not great inside there. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm Mike, always trying to convince Darcy and Erlen they should come down sometime. To host too. the show while I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to teach them a lot of things. <laughs> I bet Erlen would pick it up works. pretty fast, but yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. Yeah, There's they could do it. They could do a toned down version, like not all the bells and whistles, but I'd yeah. have to set them up so perfectly, and they'd only be able to do one show. Uh, I'd have to preload all the games on the SD carts. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, PRG never disappoints. Atari Age booth is always, always a sight to behold. Sight to behold it yeah. is. They are front and center again, right beside the Atari booth as well. They're side by side, booths 101, 102. As soon as you come in, mm -hmm. back to normal. Mm -hmm. For a little bit there, they were stuck in the back. I don't know who they made mad, <laughs> but they're back <laughs> in the front again. Which they is made great. up with whoever it was, yep. so it's all yep. good. They now. shook hands, went out for pizza. Yeah. Whatever happened. <laughs> yeah. Pizza. It's all about <laughs> so pizza. It should be a lot of fun. It's our highlight of our year. Yes. Love to go down there. Yep. Um, so if you're down there, say hi, come by, mm -hmm. get a sticker. Mm -hmm. um, we're usually hanging around the Atari Age booth. We're going to help them set up again this year. Do lots of boxes. We're experts. Experts at it. Oh, now. I love doing it, folding the boxes it's now. It's so meditative. It is meditative. It's just like. Yeah. Setting up the console, setting up the posters. Al yep. says there's less posters this year. You had a lot of posters. Because it's open, like Atari. Oh, and so Atari he doesn't have age. the walls so, so it's much? Like, so it's like one wall, I think. Uh, yeah. One day, lots of water in the way. Yeah, the, yeah. And a long flight, Cyrano. I hope you can make it one day because yeah. it's so good. Well, it would be nice if we could find an event. In a, you know, in, in Europe to go to down one year under too. as well, or down under is Cyrano. Sorry, do, Cyrano's yeah, Cyrano's in Australia. Down under, yeah. Okay, um, I, well, Australia. any excuse to go to Australia. Just, what is just what is the big? The flights are expensive. Aus <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, um, I want to go back. Oh uh, yeah. One, what city are you in, Cyrano? Yeah. Two, <laughs> what not city? Uh, state um, or province? I can't remember what they are. Provinces or states. Um, what is the big event there for retro gaming? Too? Yeah. PAX, PAX Australia. Australia. Does it have much retro stuff at PAX? It's usually really new, isn't it? PAX? Is that... Uh... That's the people in uh, Seattle. Uh, uh, Penny oh, Arcade. Okay. Penny Arcade Expo. Oh. They come from Seattle, so it's three hours from us is the original PAX, which is irony. Might have to go to PAX one year. There's a retro pinball area. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's something. Is is there any other? Is that the we big one? We packs one year. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really close. Yeah. And it's it's pretty cool. Al's poster is incredible. Last year's wall of poster was the best. Oh, so many posters there last year. There were a lot year's. of posters. We had to put we put them up. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think you put up most of them. I, I one year I put up a ton of them. Yeah, I don't know if it was last year. Uh, they're yeah. not. Yeah. Anyway, just 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 assembling things. It's, it's fun. just yeah. Oh, somebody did decipher the tattoo. Thank, yes. Thanks to your hint, it it kind of pushed it. Got it. Got on the way. Yep. Ooh, big retro event a couple of years in Argentina. Well, That's well, South America would be nice we, to go to. I just to. need a big list of them all, and then we need to figure out, because yeah. we want to do a little bit of travel in the coming years. Canberra so we Vintage need to Computer out where we Expo go. Exhibition. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I don't mind going to computer ones, retro computer ones. They're either. very cool, too. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, all, I'm all about the C64 and now ZX Spectrum. Nice. And obviously Atari yeah. as well. I just want to find the um, Impossible Mission you know console that they have set up and I'll, you <laughs> just put right, me just there you there. do your thing and i'll just play impossible mission all day but, um uh, yeah we would love to coordinate one in um europe as well i would to, love to go to europe and i mean mostly we're going to plan go. it around like a festival or a concert well, it, uh, to me you can plan it around an event because we want to see we haven't been over to europe in quite a while i have family yeah. here and there and um i there's a lot of places i haven't been so yeah yeah, years um, of visiting family in Britain and um, uh, whatever I want to say, uh, uh, Wales, Wales, Britain and Wales. Yeah. So yeah, you should also visit a proper Atari demo party in Europe. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah, there's some really yeah. good demo parties there. Oh, free game Florida, first time attending. I also enjoy Florida. Yeah, I Florida. like hot weather. Yeah, um, <laughs> you can visit Pac-Man Plus down there in florida Ooh, polish road signs versus welsh road signs <laughs> did welsh. Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> i'm like yeah. oh my gosh that's a lot of consonants i don't know what to do <laughs> how do you pronounce seven consonants in a row yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. i i love how it's, like it's on yeah <laughs> no yeah i mean it's just the consonants for what they are versus how you pronounce them are completely different in welsh so Hey, yeah. Gisbertos, thank you yes, so much for thank staying you. up. And those, those games were amazing. We're going to have to do some after darking on Fruity as well. So Yes, um, and love, when you add some more it. levels to the uh, shooter. Oh, yeah. Yes, Wonderful. to uh, Gotcha Gun. That was fun. Even yeah. just to finish it. Yeah. Because that, that's difficult. Yeah. Uh, PMP uh, will attend to. Pac-Man Plus? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah in Florida, would. of course. Free game Florida. There's so many expos. We need to just get a whole list of them and just go, yeah, let's go to that one and that one. Let's do a the, tour. The nice thing about Houston expos. One, Houston Pinball Expo as well. The nice thing about expos is often they're in the off season for travel. So, yes. you know, if, if, you know, if you have kids in school, it gets a little harder, but we, we do not. We have two cats who get just shoved in cat storage. Cat jail. Um, but it being the off season makes travel cheaper, which is nice. Cheaper. So, yeah. Easier. There's more, um, plentiful hotels. I mean, depends on where you're staying, but yes. yeah, if it's a big event, no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, so that's a nice thing about like Portland. Expos. You have to book it early, especially the ones right well, around. Well, if you want to be close by, but I mean, if you if you book a little further, yeah, it's not and so we're bad. not silly anymore. We're right by the expo now. Yeah, right Midwest by. Classic. I've heard that's really good too. Yeah, I've heard that's a good one too. Um, and oh, it's a driving distance from nostalgic. So not to yeah. us. <laughs> we're like yeah. West Coast. Good excuses to go places. And, yeah. and there's some in uh, California as well. Yes. Yep, some good ones there too. Houston Area Expo, Arcade Expo is in my backyard, so I'll be there Friday night. Oh, awesome. there you go, yeah. London, you get to roll over pedestrians on the left side of the yeah, road there. Yeah. I've driven in Australia, so I know how to drive, drive on the left side of the road. Yeah, do you still <laughs> remember? It it takes it takes very little time to adjust. Yeah. You just I've, have to keep thinking, turn into the left. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Turn to the left. I find... Turn into the far... I've never driven in the UK. Lane. My dad drove because we went as children. Again, lots of family. Yeah. Um, and it just seemed like as long as you were around traffic, it's oh, easier yes. to follow traffic. So much easier when there's traffic. But if, if you were in a place where there was no traffic, you ran the risk of just like, turning completely the wrong way. Your brain has to be like 100% yeah. concentrate. Okay, left, left, yeah. left. Pseudographics. Left, 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 the retro events right, overseas have a very different vibe. I'm sure. I'm they, sure. They do. Like yeah. if you look at videos of them, they're much more, much smaller, intimate? kind of more, more intimate more community. Yeah. Much more intimate. Yeah. Uh, but very dedicated. Like really, like everyone there is like at a really high level of knowledge yeah. and expertise, and they're all coders. Nice. Which is a bit intimidating. Um, but yeah, very different vibe. The ones here in North America, it's like, they're huge and 
big attendance and everybody's just there very casual mm. yeah that's that's what i've gathered anyway well and the expo seem very geared towards um like sellers too i, I don't know if that's yes. so much the case for some of the events in europe where it's more focused on like game development yeah and like and like competition and the ones here um, are more like yeah, just the old selling games. Selling and the new games, high the old score games. competitions. Oh, yeah, whereas it seems score. there's a lot in Europe that's really focused on game development and, and game development competitions. Another highlight that we actually enjoy more and more every year is the Tetris World Championships. Oh, my gosh. That's a, that's a reason to go. Is held at the Portland Retro Gaming yeah. Expo. And last year, they were trying to kick everyone out. We told the story already. Yeah. It shut down the event. Like, the people were like... Everyone's got to go, and no and, one, wa- no one would leave because it hadn't of, finished. Hundreds yet. of people are going. You, you know, there's still something going on, and they're trying to kick out three hundred people. Yeah, and everyone's just like, no one's no, moving. They're no. like, no, we're not. <laughs> there's a the world championship they're stealing the chairs final. from everyone. I know it was crazy. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, yeah. Someone set them right though. They did that for a bit, and they then and then someone clearly said, no, you have to wait till the end. So yeah. that's fine. And then they went, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like. These are the people paying to be here. Yeah. Pseudo graphics in Europe. There's usually just one or two tables of stuff to buy. Yeah. 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 Um, so thanks for hanging out yes. with us. Pseudo graphics. Crypto coffee. Dan, if you see Rod Castler, S. Ramirez, Nostalgic, Gisberto Rondinella. Thank you so much for your awesome games. Cyrano J. Popping in at the last couple minutes. Hello. Rod hello. Gatoko. Beer Pocock. Beer Pocock. We'll see you in three weeks. Yes. Uh, Gamma Dev. Who else on this list? Polygox. Um, Johnny the Wiz Kid. Um, who else? Philip Meyer. Ivory Tower Collections. Catbot Arena. Uh, Crypto Coffee. And everyone Yay! else who is hanging out. It is raid time. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, well, we'll see because he was sick. Yeah. He, uh, well, he had sick. his wisdom he, teeth out, I think. Yeah. Um, at Atari Beer Pong. Atari Beer Pong. But I well, thought we'll I see. saw him uh, broadcasting. Was he broadcasting? So we'll see how sick he is. Oh, he is there. Is he there? He's playing some Atari ST. All so right. we're going to do a raid on him and send you over to Atari Beer Pong for some more retro Atari game playing. Yes. So, yeah, good night, everyone. Good, good night, night, all you everyone. East Coasters who stayed up a little bit late. And uh, Yes, and uh, we'll see you again on Friday, on Friday. with some more Is it awesome me, or are, are people back from the holidays nope. yet? Okay, I think it's still with you. me. Okay, so have a great weekend. Uh, there may be an impromptu show, because my friend's coming by. Maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. All right. Okay, have a good night, and we're sending you over to Atari Beer Pong and yeah. say hi to him and say, I'm here from Zero Page Homebrew. Yes. Have a great night. Have a good Bye-bye. night. Bye-bye.